Good morning. In this video, I want to deal with another lie from uh, James White and his work, uh, The King James Only Controversy. By the way, I, I uh, just listened to a video by a Bible protector where he's uh, quoting from uh, James White, I guess his radio show, calling all defenders of the King James Only viewpoint liars. So uh, I challenge anybody to come on the, these videos uh, from the James White camp and show where I'm lying about uh, anything I've said in his books, his book so far. Uh, he has a case where he lies about Dean Bergen being against 1 John 1, 9. And I, from reading Maiden uh, on his work on the, uh, for, uh, the uh, 1 John 5, 7, I gathered his lie started with Gary Hudson. But uh, James White picks it up, and um, you will see this lie here where he's trying to, try to uh, assert that Dean Burgeon would have been against five John, first, uh, first John 5, 7, and he doesn't say anything of the sort. And, uh, uh, of course, what, what White wants you to make you, make you people think uh, is that the, uh, uh, that the King James translators were alive today and Burgeon were alive today. Uh, the, they would all be uh, advocates like he is of the critical text or the majority text. They would, never, they would not be defenders of the Texas Receptus or the King James Bible, and that's what he wants you to uh, uh, think that by these uh, these continual assertions and lies. Uh, he writes here about uh, when Bergen was writing against Giesberg. Giesberg was a uh, older modern critic, uh, one of the first modern critics, I should say, and uh, he was attacking, of course, he attacked the first John five seven, and he used the same uh, way of doing so that the modern critics use today. First, he had it in his text, and then uh, gradually it uh, ended up uh, being a, uh, a footnote. Uh, and the uh, false reading came in, which is still part of the uh, New American Standard Bible today, uh, and, all the, and actually NIV as well. Um, he says here, uh, Burton, page uh, 103, Virgin recognized the comma as a later edition without a valid claim, <laughs> claim <coughs> to be an original. So far, he starts off with a lie. Never says anything about such uh, speaking about the comma. Since he made this comment by means of citing another scholar, Griesberg, and that in Latin, many passed right over by his statement. Yet to this day, many King James Version only advocates, like D.A. Wade, sell Version's book, Version's work, was steadfastly opposing his conclusion on this text. Uh, and the fact is, is that uh, Version's not speaking about our first John five seven here, and so uh, he, he has a Latin phrase here, and um, it's. Uh, the translation comes on here that because Griesberg was opposing first uh, first Timothy three three sixteen, and of course very, there's very little evidence against first Timothy three sixteen. Uh, so so little that even uh, White has to accept its reading, uh, even though he defends uh, why the critics still reject it. But he goes here he goes uh, the English translation would be if so few man manuscripts are sufficient to develop to establish those illegitimate readings, one can oppose so many weighty things both of evidence and of arguments, that obviously nothing will be left of the serious matter of a true and false standard, and the text of the New Testament in general will be entirely uncertain un and doubtful. So that was uh, Bergen uh, uh, noting what Griesberg said about 1 John 5, 7, and then, then saying, well, if you're going to have that view, why, why are you accepting 1 Timothy 3, 16, uh, or, or rejecting 1 Timothy 3, 16, the correct reading there, and putting in this, this nonsense of us, as opposed to Theos. And uh, uh, so Griesberg, he goes, in, he, he goes on to say, which of course is a, a correct uh, question. Uh, there's no uh, evidence for that uh, false reading of uh, uh, that the uh, critical texts uh, have in there with, uh, they have he, who, and which, or whatever. Uh, their pronouns they either have a uh, relative pronoun or a personal pronoun without an antecedent in 1 Timothy 3.16. So, uh, this was a defense of 1 Timothy 3.16, not a uh, discussion about 1 John 5.7. All uh, Bergen was doing was uh, calling, into, calling into question Greensburg's consistently, consistency in defending uh, or rejecting 1, uh, 1 John 5.7 while accepting with the same criteria uh, 1 Timothy 3.16. Griesberg was saying what I will say below. If the reading of 1 John 5, 7 can be considered original, then the entire textual history of the New Testament is, in its essence, up for grabs. Virgin was citing this in another context, that being his defense of the reading of God, 
at 1 Timothy 3.16. But he would hardly have cited the text from Greensburg if he did not agree with its original application. Now we're going to see exactly how uh, a white uh, twist this. Again, he recognized the comma as having no claim of being to be an original. They've said that. They have said that's an assertion without any proof. So now he goes on here to the uh, middle of the page here, 104. He goes here, uh, if indeed the comma was a part of the apostles, uh, John's original writing, he will, we are forced to conclude that entire passages rich in theological meaning can disappear from the Greek manuscript tradition without leaving a single trace. Now there's where the, the subtle lie comes in. Version was never uh, totally linked or witted uh, to the uh, Greek manuscript history uh, per se. Uh, he looked at it, manuscripts as being one source of the truth. So, and the King James Bible defenders uh, point that out. Say, look, it might be have a little, a few manuscripts, but uh, be, we can find it in other, other versions or other uh, uh, the church fathers. And Dean Bergen was very big about having the church fathers. Now, when he took Griesberg to, to task, he was pointing out that uh, the only version that contained that witness in, for the uh, Os in uh, 1 Timothy 3.16 was the Gothic. There was no uh, patristic uh, church father evidence for 1 Timothy 3.16. So uh, there is evidence that of the uh, church fathers in uh, for, uh, 1 John 5.7 and in other versions. So they, that would not... Uh, uh, the idea that, see, what White wants you to think was only issued about the Greek manuscripts for uh, for um, uh, Bergen, and that's not true. Bergen believed that uh, Greek manuscripts might not have the reading, but it can be found it can be found in other sources like other versions and the Church Fathers, and that would be just as reliable and uh, legitimate as having in, in manuscripts. So he was taking Greensburg to a task for First Timothy three sixteen for rejecting First John five seven. Uh, uh, talking about his uh, Greensburg, his po hypocrisy, but uh, Bergen himself was not rejecting First John five seven. There are other criteria that uh, Bergen would have used beside the Greek manuscripts. So Greensburg wanted to, to, to basically just stick with the Greek manuscripts and then say, well, there's, there's very, very, very little Greek manuscript evidence for First John five seven. And uh, uh, Bergen said, okay, fine. But there's no, there's very little evidence uh, of uh, manuscript evidence for uh, your reading in First Timothy 3:16, false reading, and there's no other evidence dealing with the versions and the, uh, the church fathers. Just this one version of Gothic, and then you got no church fathers evidence. So what White wants you to think is that what the versions was talking about is what the, the, the Alexandrian criteria of the Greek manuscripts, solely Greek manuscripts, and that is not true. Version was a uh, few other sources. Uh, as, as did the uh, King James translators as being legitimate, just as the Greek manuscript tradition would be. So the Greek manuscripts were taken uh, were weighted as much as the church fathers and other versions. Uh, and they would hold those readings and, and they weigh those re readings along with, alongside the, uh, the Greek manuscript itself. So that's James White trying to make an assertion that version would have been against 1 John 5.7. And uh, then uh, trying to, uh, uh, based on his uh, versions uh, attacking, uh, defending uh, the correct reading of 1 Timothy 3.16 against the false reading of Greensburg, which, by the way, White, uh, though he holds the true reading of 1 Timothy 3.16, he defends the, 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 uh, those who are defending the false one. But the point is, is that what White's saying here is about the Greek manuscript tradition without leaving a single trace is false. The fact is that Virgin believed that the evidence uh, traces the 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, true readings could be found in other areas such as the church fathers and in other versions, and that's what he was saying there. So again, here's another lie uh, from uh, James White by asserting that version uh, was against First John five seven, when in fact he wasn't, uh, and uh, then trying to link him to a false view on uh, the Greek manuscripts as if, as if the Greek manuscripts would be only source of getting the true reading. Uh, Bergen definitely believed that other versions and certainly the Church Fathers could be sources uh, that could uh, uh, find readings that could be lost in the Greek manuscript tradition. Amen. Thank you.